We aim to fit your ideal date, but it would be a first come, first served basis. Scholarship cost is 750. That's inclusive of VAT. So there's limited spaces available. Once they sell out, then they sell out. So any entries that already been submitted will be informed at the start of November. Anything after that would have to fit in in and around the spaces that we have available. So mini JCW Sport is H-pattern, so all the cars through the process will also be a H-pattern gearbox. The track layout will be a and will be the normal full circuit layout. The grid for the sport class uh, for next season, we anticipate that it's going to grow. It did grow quite well this season. I would say we're going to be into the 15s. That would be the area that we would like to see the sport to grow. Okay, so the first stage would be in a slower car. Um, it would be still based around a similar feel to the JCW Mini Sport. But as each stage goes on, the car become more powerful and more of a race car as we get to the final. So simulator for the first stage would be fairly simple. We usually use a Fiat 500 that's not extremely high power. This would be able to give us an assessment of the driving standards. It would also be on Silverstone National. The reason for this is we're looking for uh, gear clutch control, brake traces, steering input. This allows us to be able to assess the driver without overcomplicating the circuit. As our process goes on for each stage, then this will get more complicated. The winner of the JCW Sport class will be provided from Jump Sport Racing the fully funded season of car hire team fee, fuel, tyres, brake pads, wear and tear components. If you haven't got your race licence, this will also be provided you to be able to participate to do your arts license within the package. Results from the scholarship would hopefully like to be able to send that out to everybody that's entered within two days from the scholarship. Within this you'll have a report which will give you the areas that we feel that you possibly need improvement but also where you excel in. This in turn allows you to be able to focus on areas within your assessment to be able to improve on for the second stage, which is very important. This is a big aspect that we're looking for a driver to be able to work with that can recognise areas improvement, go away, make improvements on that area to take forward to the next stage. I'm looking for somebody to win our scholarship, the areas that I'm looking for is some that first of all can work together as a team that's looking to be able to make improvements on and off the track. Somebody that's rounded in the fact that can recognise where areas could be improved, whether that's on track, off track, that could be via social media, that could be the engineering side of it, there are all the different aspects that we build our scholarship on and the areas that we want to be able to work together with to turn you into a professional racing driver. There is options for participants to be able to have some additional testing, some driver coaching, i.e. our driver development days prior to the event. These are available if you want to contact us. We'll be able to give you the dates and the availability for this. A lot of people do that if they haven't got very much experience. This is an ideal way to be able to be prepared for our scholarship. No equipment's really needed. We will provide some helmets. If you have your own equipment, then that is ideal if you want to be able to come along with helmets, glove, boots, race suit, etc. It's not necessary. If you haven't got that, we can provide equipment to be able to participate. All we need is you to attend the scholarship and we will provide everything required. Thank you for watching. Hope this answers some of your questions. Hey. <laughs>